Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brigazoid's Den. So today, I believe, is going to be the last, uh, will LEGO make something for a video game? I don't know what you would call it really. But we're going to talk about the Gotham Knights video game today, and if LEGO will make sets off of it. Which I really hope they kind of do, but I don't think they will. Just like the other games, I think these either might be way too mature, or they just won't bother with the property because they... I don't know. Maybe they're just not interested in, in doing sets off of the game for when it comes to DC. Even though they did stuff for Marvel, but... Fingers crossed that they do do stuff, but I don't think they will, which is a shame. But whatever, you know, there's not much we can do about it. But I still would like to share my ideas with all of you about what they could do if they were to make sets off of this, uh, off of this game specifically. So, for Gotham Knights... We have the first set that I have on my list of something that they could do for the game based off of the game. And I uh, obviously haven't played the game, so this is just going to be based off of the footage that we've already seen. Trailers, 15 minutes of gameplay, etc. Things like that. Stuff we've already seen. So basically my first idea is a Batgirl bike set. And that'll be like 30 bucks around that range. Come with Batgirl, Robin, Mr. Freeze. So you have a new Batgirl figure, new Robin figure, and a new Mr. Freeze figure. And the builds would be a oversized Batgirl bike from the trailer. Or I guess it would be more like a bat, just a bat bike, whatever, whatever kind of bike it is. But just kind of oversized, kind of wacky looking. Um, and it would be for Batgirl. And then you'd also have a side build, which would be Mr. Freeze's generator, which we saw from the, I think it was like the first 15 minutes of gameplay or something like that. Um, and that could have really good prints, really good stickers, I guess. Um... And that would just be kind of to start up his, like, ice thing. I, I don't even know what happened in that trailer. I don't remember it much. But um, that could also be a side build for this small set. Then for the next set here, it's a little bit bigger. It is the Court of Owls. That would be in the $50 to $60 range here. And that would come with Nightwing, Red Hood. So you rounded out your um, Gotham Knights characters. Then you have Talon. And then two members of the Court of Owls as well. They could have really nice tuxedo pieces, or uh, torso prints, and also leg prints, as well as a um, face print with the mask, or even maybe a maybe even a molded piece for the mask. I don't know. Well, they might have hair, so yeah, maybe it'd be better if it was a printed uh, face print, face print for the mask, and then for the build, as well as the sorry, as well as the talon, which looks which would look very cool. It would probably look a little bit similar to the talons that we've already gotten. From that $20 set in like 2018, 2017. I don't remember the exact year. But um, it would still be a very cool figure to have. And again, new Nightwing, new Red Hood. Um, as well as the new Batgirl and Robin. It would just be a great uh, combination. And then for the actual build of the set. We have a Court of Owls full-blown play set. Um, I don't know exactly how this would look. Uh, because we haven't got too, too many looks of a Court of Owls base in the trailers. But... I think it would look pretty cool. I, I'm kind of thinking the idea would be like almost like a mansion, like a part of a mansion or something like that. And it could have like a table um, for the Court of Owls members to kind of sit at and discuss Court of Owls business. Uh, maybe some traps that we kind of saw in the trailer. I think there was a part where Nightwing was like doing a flip over a, a, a bladed trap. We could, They could uh, maybe do a, a very small version of that. Um, maybe they could do like a Talon holding spot, like uh, he was stuck in like the capsule or something like that when the little girl was talking in that trailer about the Talons and how to fear them. I don't know. There's a lot they could do with this Court of Owls playset, and I think they could do a lot with the fifty to sixty dollar range as well. So that was pretty much it for this video. Just kind of wanted to share my ideas on stuff that they could do for the game, as well as if they're going to make sets off the game, which sadly I don't think they will be, just like the other ones. But, um. Yeah, if you enjoyed that video, do the comment YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.